Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's video is going to be about the clone tool and maybe a new purpose to use it. And I've made quite a few videos on the clone tool, but if you make an object and then you clone it, and I've got clone setting on my toolbar, and then you, that's a clone, and then you make a couple of duplicates of it, and then you make the clone big, it changes all the other duplicates. Now, if you don't know where clone is, you just take a rectangle and under edit, and there's clone. So you have to hit that. I just made a hotkey uh, uh, right there, and see, so you can see it's not, uh, it's grayed out right now because I'm not, I've already made a clone of it. Anyway, but I just thought I'd show you a little trick. These are all clones of one item. But let's say you've done something like this and you don't know which one's to clone. Well, you can take any of them and right click them and ask to select the master. And there's your clone. There's your original. So you can take your original and change it. Let's just do this. Let's do this. And it changed all the duplicates. It's a pretty cool way to draw. So let's go back there, and if you if you have a bunch of um, let's say let's just make a bunch of clones real quick. So I'm going to make a box, and I'm going to clone it, and I'm going to move it out of the way, and then you can go Control dip, Duplicate. And here's the same thing: if you want to find out which one's the master clone, you select Master, or you can click on it, right click, and ask select clones. And then it'll show you all the ones that are cloned. So right click to get the master or select the clones. Like here's our master. I'm going to right click it, select clones, and it collects, shows them all. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.